everybody, this is Praxis, and it's been kind of on and off raining today, which has sort of limited what I've been able to do. Uh, first off, I want to say what we were able to do yesterday, if you look above you, you can see two of the roofing panels for the greenhouse are in. We were able to get two in before the rain really started. Uh, once it started raining, not only was it uncomfortable and got slippery, uh, but each panel has to have some aluminum tape put on it, and once the panels get wet, you can't put any tape on them. So we got those up, and over the next couple of days, we should be finishing up the rest of them here, and then move over to the other side. What I've been doing today uh, has been, again, just kind of a hodgepodge of different things that are accommodated by the fact that it's been raining, and the electrician was finishing up the panel today, so power was kind of intermittent, so I couldn't use saws other than battery-operated saws. One great activity for today, which is really appropriate and didn't need power, is shoveling gravel. Uh, I called and tomorrow, allegedly, uh, we're at 9.30, I have an actual time, uh, the person's going to be coming to help uh, drill the hole through the foundation wall over here so we can get uh, radon getting drawn out of the subfloor area through a pipe, uh, you know, running through this trench here, this is going to be dug out here as well, uh, over that corner, up, and then shot out uh, the top of the greenhouse, out the back wall over there. I chose that point as the exit point because there's no windows in that area, so when we're dumping the radon out, it's not going to be just getting sucked back in some, you know, other window. I know there is a, a window right there, uh, but that window there is only going to be open in the uh, summertime when this whole area is all, is all open windows anyway. Uh, I chose this point as the extraction point for the radon, right next to the air intake for the uh, wood stove, because it is opposite from a what I think is a hole left by the plumbers in the floor underneath the uh, shower unit over there. And also, this area has plenty of gravel. If you go into some of the other areas, there wasn't a huge bed of gravel. Uh, some of it was just earth, and we want to be uh, drawing you know, from nice ventilated gravel, and this was a great place to grab it from. So coming out over here, up, uh, into the fan unit, which will create the suction, and then blown out over there. Uh, I mentioned that the electrician was here finishing up their stuff. Uh, that went pretty well, although uh, we do have an issue with the third floor. Uh, the breaker was tripping. When we tried to turn on the breaker, it was automatic, you know, immediately tripping off. So some kind of a problem. It could be any number of, one, uh, of things, and we're going to go for the simpler ones first. Hopefully it's, uh, you know, one of those, and we can you know, figure it out. But, I mean, that's just kind of a part of the process. Uh, you know, you do things and sometimes there's issues with them and you have to troubleshoot the stuff out. Uh, the breakers that we have to use are called arc fault uh, protect breakers. Uh, they're different from the breakers you, you know, used to use like 10 years ago. Uh, they're very, very sensitive uh, is the way that the electrician uh, describes them. But even to the point if you have a severe bend in a wire, that that can trip the breaker. So, um, uh, we have a variety of uh, diagnostic approaches that we're going to, uh, you know, try on that, kind of limiting parts of the system, try to figure out where the issue is, and then, you know, hopefully it's just in an outlet box, maybe uh, some of the screws are just too close to the side of the metal box, and it's uh, not even arcing, but just there's energy transmission through the air, and the breakers are picking up on that. So we're going to uh, figure that out, but, you know, overall, the breaker uh, is in, the hot water system is starting to function, although given that we don't have any sun, we're not getting any sun to heat our solar hot water system, uh, but uh, things are coming together, and, uh, you know, there's bumps in the road, like the third floor having some kind of an issue, like finding out that we had radon because people dumped radon contaminated gravel under our house. But, you know, you just take each one as they come and do the best you can to get, uh, get past them. So that's what we're doing today. Not a super high energy day, but, you know, every step is a step closer. That's it. Thanks for watching.